When I was a child, I always wanted to live in a fairy tale and I wanted it so much that it came like a physical pain to me to realize it's simply not possible. Just like maybe when you grasp that Santa Claus actually doesn't exist. So in my very early paintings, it was simply that I would paint myself into the picture and be part of that world there. So I had a great painting teacher when I was still really small and she showed us Chagall and people flying through the air and a cow larger than the house and that's when I realized, yes, um, it's possible just uh, to recreate a magic world inside a painting. However, um, you soon come to realize that fairy tales are not the structure that hold the world together. And structures was what was finally fascinating to me. Structures of society, structures of physical beings, structures of our minds, structures of surfaces. And while studying political science and um, psychology, I came to the point to see it's just as much an, a subse subjective point of view, just as much maybe an illusion. And I wanted to transgress this limit, this almost physical pain that last but not least, it's your own subjective um, uh, point of view as much as feeling. And that in the very end, no one can have exactly the same perception of these structures, of what holds the world together, the same understanding. In the end, you're thrown back onto yourself. And um, so it doesn't really matter in the very end of what illusion I can create and uh, what concepts I'm transporting through my art. It's um, up to everybody's own interpretation. And I'm very much interested in surface structures because looking at their illusion at the same time, and we can't escape this, uh, throws us back onto, we want to feel it. Uh, we want to feel what the structure is like and like cloth, like moisture from, from humid air, like something that can be hard, that can be scratchy, that can be soft, that can be um, soothing. And so we dive more into a painting and into a picture when we try to transgress this sort of illusion, we want to understand it. And so I try to play with the viewer. And um, I think this is very um, interesting at the current, in the current situation. Uh, if you think you're confined to a space, you're quarantined, <laughs> you can't go outside. It's still your mind that can fly. Um, that can transgress space, that can go into the realm of pictures, that can create illusions. And if you look at people who were confined um, anywhere in the world in jail, and you don't have to look as far as Gandhi, for example, um, in his demonstrations, um, or any other people who wrote great books uh, while being imprisoned uh, for their point of view, they had their mind fly outside and I think this is what artists do. Their mind flies into different spaces and they invite us um, to be part of, of this magic world. So it's actually still there and I think as much as maybe a movie, it's so much more there in paintings because a, a person really puts all their feelings and emotions into trying to invite you to be part of this world and um, and good art really helps viewers to recreate this experience. And so, especially during these times, it is wonderful to be able to have something like the internet and to experience new artwork and um, be part of this beautiful experience. Mm -hmm.